Welcome to this tutorial on creating your own stationary letterhead in CorelDRAW. Having custom stationary letterhead is essential for any business. With CorelDRAW, you can quickly and easily design your own and save a lot of money in the process. In this video, you will learn how to use the stylistic sets and the spot color tinting. To begin, Create a new standard letter size document and set the primary color mode to CMYK. Next, import the image of your logo. In this example, I'll use this clip art image of a red shoe. Place the clip art on the upper left side of the document. With the image selected, go into the Uniform Fill dialog box and select the Palettes tab. Under Palette, select Pantone Solid Coated. It will automatically select the corresponding PMS color, and then click OK. Click on the Rectangle tool, and then create a 7.9 by 0.10 inch rectangle in the document. Set the fill color to black, and place the rectangle a half an inch below the clipart image. While the rectangle is still selected, press the plus sign to duplicate the object. Alternatively, you can use the key combination control and the letter D on your keyboard. Once the rectangle has been duplicated, right-click on the Pantone Red in the document palette and set the object height to 0.03 inches. Nudge the rectangle downward so that it's placed below the black rectangle. Click on the text tool and then type in red shoe. For this tutorial, I'll use the Gabriola font and set the size to 48 points. Next, move it beside the clip art image. Highlight the text and click on the indicator arrow below and select Stylistic Set 7. This option is only available as of Corel Draw X6. For other versions, just leave the text as it is. Next, type in Emporium. Once again, use the Gabriola font and set the size to 48 points. Place this text right below Red Shoe. And once again, if you're using Corel Draw X6, you can highlight this text, click on the indicator arrow beside the text, and select Stylistic Set 7. In the Object Manager Docker, press the Control key on your keyboard and click on the shoe object, the red shoe text, and the emporium text, and then use the key combination control and the letter G on your keyboard to group the objects. Click on the text tool, and then click on the page and type in the address. In this example, the address is 261 Main Street, Ralston, Pennsylvania, 17763, and now I'll put in the phone number and the website address. Use the Gabriola font and set the size to 20 points. Set the horizontal alignment to center and place the text on the right side of the rectangle. Next, position the text in the upper right side of the document. In the Object Properties Docker, set the line spacing to 40% and move the text to align it with the red shoe and emporium. Next, import the image of your logo. Drag the image to the bottom left side of the document and then resize the image to 1 inch by 1 inch. Next, duplicate the image and move the duplicate to the right side of the page. Click and hold on the PMS swatch in the document palette. You will notice that a flyout appears. Move your cursor along and select 10%. From the Interactive Tools flyout in the toolbox, select the Blend tool and then select the object on the right. Click and drag to the object on the left and then release the mouse button. 
On the Interactive Properties bar, select the Blend Objects control and reduce it from 20 to a more suitable value. Thank you for watching this video tutorial on how to create stationary letterhead in CorelDRAW.